What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the 90s Hedgehog here, going against Gabriel and his Saint, or his, oh, uh, what was it? Saint Paul Light Scores, I'm pretty sure it is. This is for PSBA Week 6. You guys didn't check out last week. We picked up spoilers. If you're free to want to be always spoiled, skip right ahead now. We won last week dominantly after some miscommunication with the guy and his G-Max you guys are hyped for this team, but leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, join the Phil Sharker crew today, because you'll be filled with the game crew. So, looking at this matchup, we are going to have to play like Gabriel, like I said. And his team is fairly kind of one-dimensional. Like, he's pretty much brought the majority of his team the same week. Arguably, it's like because it's the same six that he can essentially bring every single week, which makes a lot of sense. But, like, he just... I don't know. There's just something here that I'm just not getting. Excuse me. But let's break down his team. First off, his ghost, his uh, Z Crystal is Ghost DM, which a lot of his team, I'm going to be honest, don't take advantage of but at all, really. But looking at his OU picks, he went with, uh, I believe, Rotom, Clefable, and. Um, Tangrove, I think it was. Or was it. I don't remember. We're just going to... You know what? I've tried this, and I've been failing, so let's just skip it. So his Mega and G-Max, our Mega Mega Champ and G-Max is uh, Kingler. He also picked up uh, uh, Tangrove, uh, Clefable, Rotom Wash, Corobat, Claystar, Pangoro, Loa Marowak, Raikou, Mesprit, Frostlash, Kamala, and Swampert. So looking at this matchup, I think Swampert plus Kamala don't do anything for him. Does this. Same goes for Floss Slash. Kingler is a very weird if he bring if he does. I honestly don't think he does, but it's, it's Mesprit's another one that's just because eh, eh, you know I've got stuff that checks it, but it just do something if it really wants to. Raikou is something that we could have to potentially be on the lookout for because it is a Pokemon that can be very devastating towards us. A little Marowak actually could still potentially come. It's a very semi-friendly Mon versus our entire team. So it's something, something we have to be on the lookout for. Excuse me. And the Pangoro. I can honestly see Pangoro come versus us. And we struggle quite a bit to switch in on Pangoro. And, um, yeah. So I've been looking at Gabriel's matches because sometimes I want to kind of overlook it to his. He pretty much brings roughly about the same four to five, if not six months. He's brought technically two teams in a row. I think he brought the same team, just changed them up. And then he's only changed out like one or two months versus something. Other than that, because he's only been using the top six you see there, plus a little Marowak and Mesprit. He's not used, and well, he's used his G Max, but only like one time. Everything else he has not touched. He's not touched Frostlass, he's not touched Swampert, really, except one other time. He hasn't touched Kamala at all. I don't think he's even touched Pangoro yet. So there's a good amount of his team that he doesn't even touch. But I think we got a team that can handle everything on his team really well. And then you're going to see this team is going to be really, really different than what you're going to probably see me bring. So let's go into it. We got Tarzan here holding the Cobra Berry here with 116 HP, max attack with Aiden's Pedef, 132 speed with the Jolly Nature. With this speed lets me guarantee to be faster than everything on his team by plus one. And the Cobra Berry is there so I can live hit from the Crobat and destroy it. The goal is to hopefully get a bulk up off and then go for plus one Acrobatics Max Airstream. Depending on how that Crobat is built, I can get my Cobra Berry to be activated. I go for an Airstream here. And then essentially, depending on how much damage that did, I can go for a Drum Beating, knock that thing out, get my Grassy, with grassy Terrain up, take that thing out at plus one, and then I can just start sweeping the scene. Because at plus one, again, Unless he's got anything that's scarred, I'm faster. And with terrain up, drum beating is so strong. And plus, with me, I can lower speed. That actually helps my backup team back with the bottom. And I just come in and just put buttons with it. So it's a very good mod in this game. I think he's going to have a hard time trying to beat this thing. I'm next to bring Vika Shock, our bike of this week with agility. The agility set this week. We're not running Bug Buzz. Now, you may ask yourself, why are we not running Bug Buzz? And. Here's what I'm going to tell you, Bobby. Um, Clefable is a bit of a problem versus us, so I want to be able to handle that Clefable. Tangrove is another thing that can be slightly an issue, but I want to be able to handle Tangrove. So, 
And I thought to myself, I don't want to lose this Medicham because I struggle on this Medicham. So here's what I thought. Rowing max modest with 164 speed, 92 HP. With the speed, I am faster than Mega Medicham. And I decided to go for Mega Medicham because there's no way I'm not beating Crobat. Even if I run Timid, I could still, but I don't want to waste so much potential. At least send my bulk on my mods for anything to do with that. But basically, this set lets me kind of just click a button and then... After I agility, I can either Slash Splinch, I can Thunderbolt, I can Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon is really just there. If it wasn't for Flash Cannon, I'd probably put Energy Ball so I could check Rotom. Um, I'll actually run some Calcs, but if I feel like Thunderbolt can do the job for what I think can come, then I'll go ahead and switch this to Energy Ball so that way we have something for the Rotom. Up next, we're actually changing this name, and I feel like this name fits Mew so much. So much. That's infinite, because a Mew can be run in infinite. Infinite amount of ways, and we've got a really crazy EV spread here. Let's go into it. First up, we're running bulk up, drain punch, zen headbutt, and heal bell. Now, you may be asking yourself, why run heal bell? That's such a random move. Well, what heal bell does, it does help support the team in getting rid of any toxic and stuff like that. But what's really amazing about this set is that once Mew bulks up. There's nothing that switches. Like, Mega Medicham will not be able to touch me, really, after a bulk up. Even when Pangoro comes in, oh, Pangoro ain't doing nothing to me once I bulk up. Because then I can Drain Punch, knock that thing out, potentially, or live a hit. Because, again, bulk up helps me live Dark-type hits better. And we are rocking out with Moonium Z, because besides Pangoro, name something on his team that wants to be hit with Moonium Z. If I remember correctly, he does not have a Steel-type so, if Pangoro is not there, Pangoro, and, like, we don't see, after I bulk up, I'm just going to click Medium Z. Wait a minute, no, I can't run Medium Z, because that's, because it's psychic, that's right. I'm a smart man, I remembered that rule. So I need to change this item, actually. And I might have to change the set a little bit, but we'll get into that later. But. Up next, we're going back, Snipe Shot! He's coming back now, ladies and gentlemen. I know there's a few mods you've been wanting to see, like, there's obviously Hydreigon, which we have not been used yet at all. There's Cross Moth, there's... Um, a few other things potentially, I think. But, yeah. Um, there's, we'll try. If not, I'm going to make some changes before the team, before transactions can end. If I feel like this team is just not working out the way I want to. Which, it hasn't really, and, I mean, it's been doing okay. It's just, there's some games I could have won. But anyways, into Snipeshot. This thing, I think, could potentially be just a win con. We are running Trick Room Life Orb Regenerator with Psychic Shell Arm, Shell Side Armor, and Shadow Ball. These three moves... Clear a massive hole for his team. He's got no safe switch into this monster with max HP for a lot of bulk for him to defense instead of spadef so he can take hits because Mega Betty Cham, unless it's adamant, even if it's adamant, only two shots me. But if I get my trick room off before that thing comes in, I can Shadow Ball, which does have a chance to one shot if he's got no investment. But Shell Side Armor plus Psychic and Shadow Ball just shuts down everything on his team completely, and that's really good. And with Mox, Modest, you, there's no switch in. The reason why we were running Life Orb is because I wanted this to be a more offensive row. I did have Drain Punch on there originally, but with Shell Side Armor, when I'm in Trick Room, I can two-shot Pangoro. But Pangoro is weakened to a point, and then Shell Side Armor can just one-shot it. 100%. But I love this Pokemon. I think it's going to do well for us. I think it is. Making his debut after six weeks. Well, technically five. It is Mr. Rhyme, a.k.a. Tapper. Here with the heavy duty boots with rapid spin, shadow balls, freeze dry, and slack off. Um, ice stab is so strong for him completely, and we are actually running shadow ball now. Shadow ball lets me hit a few things that I want to hit. Shadow ball lets me hit the uh, mesprit and lets me hit uh, Mega Medicham for some really strong damage as well. I can potentially I think run focus blast. I'll have to think about that, but I like slack off for recovery. Just because it's a good way to kind of keep this thing helping, keep support going on this team. Rapid Hooting Boots, because he has been known to bring Stealth Rock to Fable, and I fully expect that. Max HP, Max Special Attack, Foreign Speed. Uh, Foreign Speed just, uh, you know, just have speed. But we're pretty much pretty semi bulky Mr. Rhyme here, and we're ready to do some work. And up next, I was really debating about this, but as we're really thinking about it, Rapture does so much for me. Uh, we are running Home Call, Stone Edge, Facade, and Aerialize. Once I think get this thing set up, this thing goes into town. This thing can take. One Hydra Pump from Rotom, but that's it. But if there's Chip, I don't take it. But basically, if this thing gets plus one to plus two, it goes into town on him and just destroys everything. So if that's going to be the team, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.